Hi friends! Flying coach, otherwise known as economy, is a painful reality of budget travel. I've got some questions from people about how to get an upgrade when you're traveling. I don't find myself trying to get upgrades that often because it's actually a lot more complicated than it sounds like. So I thought this was a great opportunity to make a video about why upgrades happen, how airlines pick people to upgrade, and things you can do to increase your chances of being upgraded. So I'm gonna set this up with a little disclaimer. I know this sounds mean, but if you purchased a coach ticket, you do not deserve to be upgraded because you don't really want to be uncomfortable in coach. We're all uncomfortable in coach. It sucks, that's kind of the point. If that were the case, everyone would be upgraded because no one's like, I want to sit in coach because it's lovely. Please keep that in mind. Well, I know you would love an upgrade, so would everybody else. And if you think about it from an airline's perspective, their goal is for every single decision they make to positively affect them. For example, airlines are much more likely to upgrade someone who's a frequent flyer on their airline rather than some rando. Also, if someone on the flight has an illness or a disability, the airline employees will probably opt to make their day better by upgrading them. It's very rare that someone gets a free upgrade from coach to first class just because they were nice. Generally, if they're upgrading, coach passengers get bumped to business and business people get bumped to first. While it might seem impressive to say, we're on our honeymoon, or it's my birthday, that won't necessarily warrant an upgrade. All right, so let's get into the why. Why do upgrades happen? In short, airlines overbook their flights. So if they have 300 seats available in coach, they might sell 325 just to anticipate people no-showing. That way, they're still making money because they could squeeze the other people into those seats. When airlines start to see that more people than they anticipated have checked in, that's when they start bumping people from coach to business class and from business class to first class to make more room. So a lot of people, myself included, prior to my research, always thought that airlines would be like, okay, the flight's full, who should we bump? This person was nice to us, let's make her day better and bump her. It's not the case. Of course, every airline is gonna be different and according to my research and information obtained from airline employees, Many airlines have an algorithm that chooses passengers to be upgraded automatically. These algorithms take in many factors, such as your frequent flyer status, how much money you paid for your ticket, as well as if you're traveling alone or in a group. Most of the time, if you speak face-to-face -face with an employee, their actual impression of you will be taken into consideration as well, so don't be rude to anyone. Just in general, you shouldn't be rude to anyone, but definitely if you want an upgrade. Like I said before, frequent flyers take priority over others as they have an existing loyalty to the airline. The more expensive your ticket was, the higher chance that you'll be upgraded. Sorry, budget friends. If you got a sweet deal on your ticket, you're probably not gonna get upgraded. The more expensive your ticket was, the higher chance that you'll be upgraded. If you have a travel partner, the chances of you two being upgraded is much smaller. And if you're in a group of three or more, it's pretty much impossible. Some airline employees have also mentioned this unofficial rule of if you wanna get random selected to be upgraded, you have to be dressed to the nines. They don't want anybody looking slobby in business class, so that rules me out. <laughs> Something else I found interesting in my research is that some airline employees can actually get in trouble for upgrading someone if the person's not picked out of their system. In many airlines, they can get written up and there's a note that's permanently in their file. So upgrading someone because they asked nicely isn't something that they can generally swing. Okay, so taking all that into consideration, if you still wanna give it a shot, here's what you can do to increase your chances of getting an upgrade. So about 24 hours before your flight, call the airline and request a bulkhead seat. I've heard people give various excuses like, I have restless leg syndrome or my daughter kicks the chair in front of her but I don't really know how well those go. You might just wanna be honest and be like, I want the extra leg room. Even if you don't get the bulkhead, your name is now in their system of upgrades, which will help you with this next step. When you arrive at the gate, remember, dress nicely, go up to the desk, smile, say hello, don't be creepy, and ask, is the flight overbooked? If they say yes, then you can ask, are there any other seats available? If they do have other seats available, be prepared for them to give you prices to upgrade your seat. You can always say something like, I'll think about it or just decline it if it's too much. Or maybe they'll upgrade you for free. If that's the case, be sure to smile, say thank you, and leave them alone because they're very busy. Do not, I repeat, do not just walk up to the desk and just say, can I have a free upgrade? They cannot stand that and it probably will not work. I hope this was helpful to you. If you're interested, feel free to subscribe. I post videos every Sunday and for the month of August, also on Thursdays. My next video is about things that you can pack to save money on your trip. So be sure to check out that bad boy on Sunday.
Happy travels.